Hi, and thank you for joining me on this paint along. Uh, I'm Gloria, and this is what we're going to be painting today. It's a beautiful night scene. Uh, I'll call it a seascape. We have the moon, we have the clouds, and we have a, a three palms. But we might just stick to maybe one. So let's just play along and see what we can get out of this. Okay, I'm going to keep it here for reference so I can see what I'm doing. Um, let's start with the sky. So let me pick up my brush. I'm picking this angle brush for now. And we're going to put in some purples in there. So we're going to do blue, we're going to do red, and we're going to do a little white. Just to kind of lighten it up. Okay. Uh, also, I forgot to mention that this is a white canvas, 8x10. But what I did was um, I recycled an old one. So all I had to do was paint it black. Okay, since it's a night scene. It's a night scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some colors here. And I'm going to move a little fast because it's acrylics and they dry very fast. Okay, a little bit of red here. Okay, a little bit of white. It might turn pink, which is okay. We're going to blend in. Blend in. And all I'm doing is sweeping. Sweep, 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 sweep. Just a little faster, just so that um, it doesn't dry on me. I want to be able to blend these colors. Okay, a little bit more of that purple color. A little bit of white. Okay, we're going to go here. There you go. Mix, 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 mix. And if you happen to put too much paint on your brush and it got too uh, reddish or too bluish for you or purple, it's okay. You can always go back and I'll show you how to do that. You can go back and cover it in other words. Okay. Um, say for example, I say, oh, too much. I want to bring back some of the darkness. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, you see, pick up some black, not too much, it's almost dry, my brush is almost dry, but you can see that it's covering some of those colors. Sorry if my camera's just shook, it's that I'm scrubbing too hard, so let me just kind of lighten up on my hand here, there you go, beautiful, there you go. A little bit more darkness here. And while we have these colors mixed, let's go and put those colors into the water. It's a reflection of the sky. So let's do that at the bottom. More purple, a little bit more white. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Sweeping, sweeping. Don't forget to sweep. A little bit of that pinkish. Now we're going to give it a little bit of highlight right here in the horizon line. You notice that I did not split my painting in half. You don't want to split it in half. So my horizon will be almost one third of my painting. And I'm doing this with a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to come back and mix that. Okay, I'm going to mix it. Makes it mean blending. Blending. 
and let's say this is just a reflection from the moon okay wiggle go wiggle it see now scrub wiggle 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 put a little bit of white if you like in there just to kind of lighten it up even more there you go okay now we're gonna scrub it in wiggle 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 there you go spread it before it dries okay um, I'm going to add a little bit more of those purple colors between here and here, right on the sides. Picking up some of that red, a little bit more red, a little red for the purple colors. See how I shrunk that? Okay, look at this. Watch, uh, see. How this is gonna be shrunk okay hold on right here see see how it shrunk okay a little bit more white shrink it wiggle it wiggle it wiggle it get it out there get it out there and beautiful okay now that we've done that let's work on some of the clouds okay i'm going to clean my brush because i won't be needing this one for now so i'm going to be picking up a filbert soft silver and i'm going to pick up some white a little bit of white and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in circular motions to my right so we're going to start one off right here okay um, there you go what I'm doing is circles see that circles I'm going like this like I'm stirring put in an angle okay pick up some more here we go okay. let's pick up a little bit more I'm just gonna add a little bit blue in there just to kind of get some okay see that's two too blue so I'm gonna add a little bit of red there you go see how I cover that push up you can also push up okay push up and let it fade what you're doing is you're letting it fade look at that see look look at that fade when I say fade you just lighten up on your brush and it'll fade it'll fade away okay I'm gonna redo that a little bit mm -hmm. now let's put some here just scatter scatter your clouds all over Let's just do one here. Okay, let's do one here. Give that effect of this one far away down here. There you go. Um, let's see. Um, let me put one here. Just in case. You can put as many clouds as you want or as little clouds as you like. It's really up to you. I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow and I'm going to actually turn green because I mixed it with the green and yellow so let me wipe that clean and just grab a little bit of yellow and let's put it here. let me put it here kind of mix it around nice 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 okay Okay, I think I'm happy with this. What I'm trying to do is balance my colors. Which means if I have yellow here, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow on one side. Kind of balance. That way when someone's looking at your painting, their eyes will be balancing 
from here to there, here to there, and it just not stuck in one section of your painting, unless of course it's a still life, and then you might want that. Okay, I kind of like this for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add the moon, and let's see. You could either use your finger for the roundness, or you can just add the moon using a little bit of white and going into a circle look at this okay you can make it as big as you like okay but I don't suggest you make it any smaller than that because this is an 8 by 10 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry my brush I'm not gonna wash it I'm just going to dry and I'm gonna pull I'm going to pull from it. Okay. Okay. Now, what I might want to do is just a little tap of yellow. Just circular motions. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I'm going to add, let's see, I'm just going to kind of add some, that's too much, so I'm just going to clean my brush without water, let's just kind of scrub that in, okay, beautiful, okay, so now we're ready for, I noticed they have little mountain here, Oh, it's a hill something it's there so let's just kind of create that really quick here I'm gonna pick up some black okay I using my filbert I just picked up some black by tapping into the paint and then paint tapping on the side like this I picked up and then I tapped on the side because if I do it directly from this bunch it's going to be a big blob and I don't want a big blob so I'm just kind of tapping just to get something some off it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a hill a hill here and again I'm tapping very lightly to get those pretty effects okay and I'm going to come in here and then I'm just going to fill it in okay a little bit more tap tap It just looks like land has grown and part of it has gone into the water from the left. Okay. And then what you can also do is, since we have a little land here, why don't we create a curtain? I call it a curtain because you have something on both sides. It forms the curtain. So we're going to, let's do a little bush here as well. Okay. This is a bush. This is land and this is only part of the bush this is all you see and it's just a little and you tap and if you see a nice shape that you created accidentally it's okay just keep it there it's gonna look beautiful okay here we go I'm going to add some highlights there before it dries because while the licks is still wet if you add a little bit of highlights it's going to pick up some of that pretty black that's there already and mix in with the yellow it's gonna create green okay but not too much because again it has gotten dark okay I'm gonna just dry my brush without wetting okay there you go okay a little bit of green Okay, now you know there's a little bush there and we're gonna do the same thing over there we're gonna pick up some yellow it's gonna mix in with my black that I already have Okay, not too much very lightly very lightly because it's getting the light from the moon so there you go and all you're gonna see is the tip of those little bushes 
okay so let's continue here um i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of highlights here because the light from the moon is going to just be hitting right here just the tip the tip of these little hills of grass okay you can even go a little lighter by adding just a touch of white just a touch here and there you don't want to make them all uniform just here and there okay there you go perfect let's do the same thing here just a little bit okay here you go let me pick up a little bit of yellow not too much and I'm doing a uh, very light press on my brush and this is I'm still using that filbert very little very light do not press heavy if you press heavy you're gonna get a different effect than what I have here okay how's this okay and that's just the reflection of the moon we're going to add a little of shadowing here as well and I'm gonna make that let's use white for that and I'm gonna pick up a small flat square brush just a tab and we're gonna do that here and I'm gonna kind of just kind of scrub a scrub just to scrub just scrub See? just scrub I'm gonna add a little bit of black here because I didn't want that much yellow there you go okay just a tap 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 okay and again I'm gonna darken it here more so I pick up a little bit of black, just enough. There you go. You don't see much because remember this is the dark side. Okay. Just kind of give it that look there. Like something is behind here on this side of the canvas where we don't see. Now I'm going to do the palm. So uh, hopefully you're caught up with me. And what we're going to do is we're going to do... Let's do black. Let me just kind of wet my brush and pick up some black. And I decided to go here. Okay, so make sure this is straight. Um, we're going to make it come off right here. Okay, there you go. A little bit more. Let's just kind of thicken it. And light as you go it off lift up that brush so that it gets thinner as you go to the top and a little thicker here so that okay oh we're gonna keep it like that now I'm gonna do this do that. again let's flip the canvas so it'll be easier for us and then we're gonna go to one here and I'm just gonna do one more and going across right here make it a little longer because I don't want it to be even with this one this one stops here this one stops here Okay, this one stops there. Okay. Now we're gonna put this one away back in the water and I'm gonna grab my fan brush. Dip it in black and we're going to do this. Pick up some more. There you go. Okay, have that, okay, now we're going to do all of them, and then see what happens. I hope you guys are having fun, because this is all about fun.
please don't stress yourself out if you feel you're getting stressed stop the video take a break go get some water coffee if that's what you like and and relax and then come back and pick off where you left off okay because we don't want you to stress this is good therapy for all of us because it makes you forget your troubles just puts you in a different world how's that okay and we got one more here in the middle we don't want to forget that beauty right here and okay there you go and fill that in a little bit more um, I'm gonna make this one just a little longer just so they can be different than the other one okay how's that I think that's different that one is even longer that's fine if you want to make them a little longer you can if not that's fine too how's that good enough let's put a little bit of highlights there and I might go back and darken some areas just because I want it to be a little darker in the evening okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the flat square brush I just cleaned it and I'm gonna add some highlights here we're gonna do a little bit of yellow and the reason we're doing yellow again is because of the moon flipping it over I'm gonna start here at the edge and go over pick up some more yellow and notice that it's picking up some of that wet black acrylics that's on the way and that's fine and we're gonna just kind of pull pull a little bit more here we go a little bit more that's wonderful there you go pull 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 okay I like I like it I like it okay what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and add highlights on that palm and again we're gonna pick up yellow and we're gonna do this okay Now, if you think that's too bright, that's fine. Just go over it with green, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So, and I hope it helps when I flip my canvas. Okay, I'm just dipping in green. If you say what kind of green, because there's so many different greens, it really doesn't matter as long as it's green, because there's going to be lights of green and dark green. So whatever you have for now is fantastic. Just work with what you have. Don't go buying anything new. Once you realize, hey, this is for me, I love it, I wanna do it. And then you go back to the stores and buy more quality stuff, more brushes. And let me tell you, as an artist, you cannot have enough brushes. I learned that I have a box full of brushes. Not that I use them all, but I just can't resist them. It's hard to resist beautiful brushes. Okay, you see that? So what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight here because this is closest to the room. There you go. And then I'm going to darken this one here. So I'm going to pick up some green. Green. And hopefully, there you go. Hopefully I don't make mud. There you go. Mm, I think that's good I think that's wonderful and because I like it I think I'm gonna quit now and call it a finished painting so you know what that means that means we're going to sign it's time to sign so I'm going to pick up some black I hope you guys enjoy this I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go right under here and just put my last name remember you don't want to make it too close to the edge 
of your painting because then once you frame it sometimes depending on the frame you buy it will cover your signature you don't want that you want to brag you want to brag you want to let people know hey I painted this beauty okay if your friends like it remember you can always make a reproduction for them and keep the original okay okay guys I hope you enjoy that the time spent with me see you on our next adventure God bless adios amigos